My name is Maryam. I don't have much time left. Doctors believe that my disease is incurable. I'll die on July 14. By the way, I have a little daughter. Her name is Anna. Hello, Anna. Don't you expect the world to ask how you're doing? It never asks if you're downhearted or overjoyed, if you feel lethargic or full of energy. You never hear it ask if you're thriving or feel like a failure. So stand up and keep moving forward. Life is short and opportunities are limited. You don't strive to make the most of life and you'll miss the train ride. Coming to terms with impending death, I'm reviewing and reconciling my life before I die in my hospital bed. I think I've not much regret and I've fulfilled my life mission. Two years ago, I was selected as one of the most influential women scientists in the world. International Women in Mathematics Day is celebrated on my birthday. I was honored with the Fields Medal, described as the Nobel Prize of Mathematics in 2014. It will change after some time, and, and, but, it, but it's not something that would change by two in two or three or five years. It, it can take decades, but things like this change, and, and there are examples of these kind of changes. And now, I'm on my deathbed on July 14. I'll die, but you will stay. This is Iran, the high school I formerly attended. My life journey started here. This is where I studied math. Mathematics helped me to be selected as the most influential female scientist in the world and knowledge of English helped me to be able to communicate, travel, study and read books in English. I could share and exchange information and express very complicated mass explanations in English. And now, I'm writing from the hospital bed to you. I love you, Anna. I love you, Anna. Rain drops on roses and whiskers on kittens. Bright copper kettles and warm woolen mittens. Brown paper packages tied up with strings. These are a few of my things.